force of Sue's patriotism and personality are obvious. She is matched only by our next speaker, the next woman, Rose Ochi. Rose Ochi's involvement with Manzanar stems from almost 30 years ago. From her work as counsel to the Manzanar Committee, as an executive in Los Angeles Mayor Tom Bradley's office, handling the Manzanar landmark designation, and to her vital role in spearheading the fight to establish the Manzanar National Historic Site. This has been Rose's labor of love. She has served as chair of the Manzanar Advisory Commission. She has served honorably and intelligently and with great passion. And today is working with co-chairs Lillian Kawasaki and Dennis Atsuji to organize the Friends of Manzanar. When I came here the first time, Rose was the one who began to teach me about what was needed here. She taught me very directly and very nicely, but I knew. <laughs> During her formative years, Rose spent six months in the Santa Anita stables and four years in Rower, wrongfully incarcerated. incarcerated. This experience has served as the platform for her strong commitment in both her career and community involvement to work for the protection of civil rights. President Clinton appointed Rose to head the Department of Justice race relations arm. She became the first Asian American woman to serve at the Assistant Attorney General level. From that vantage point, she continued her advocacy for Manzanar with the National Park Service and the Department of Interior, such as great help in, in getting the Saving America's treasures of money selected for here. Leadership in the community, Rose is a strong and thoughtful voice for justice and fairness. She has received many honors and awards for her many deeds from President Clinton, Janet Reno, Pat Brown Institute, and the National Asian Pacific Legal Center's Courage Award, to name just a few. For her efforts to establish Manzanar, Rose does not need any awards or certificates because this national site will provide a beacon of light on the importance of the need to protect civil rights in times of peril. This is Rose Ochi. Welcome. Good afternoon. John, thank you so much for your outstanding leadership of the Western Region of the National Park Service. It represented a sea of change. It made such a difference, especially in having Manzanar designated of one of America's treasures. And thank you also for your kind words. I must say that nothing in my career or my community involvement has given me such a sense of personal satisfaction than our efforts to establish Manzanar as a National Historic Site. I'm really happy that I've been invited to say a few words at this dedication ceremony. They have asked me to focus on how we came to this juncture. This is such a great day to have finally arrived at this major milestone in our long journey to memorialize this tragic blot on our nation's history. In the aftermath of Pearl Harbor, the U.S. government, even though they had FBI intelligence that we did not represent a threat to national security, arbitrarily rounded up 120,000 persons of Japanese ancestry. During this time of turmoil and hysteria, our country failed to make distinctions. For years to come, Manzanar will stand as a constant reminder of the great hardships many of you have so bravely endured. The Issei's indomitable Gaman spirit has been an inspiration to us all. Story about hatred, hostilities, and opposition. And it becomes a story about cross-racial understanding, reconciliation, 
and friendships. After the national landmark dedication, the Park Service sought to talk to Inyo County and DWP, but were ignored. They asked me to help open the door. I wrote a letter to the Inyo County Board of Supervisors. Later, I heard from an Inyo County reporter that then Supervisor Keith Wright, can you hear me, Keith? Yes. <laughs> shouted that no former enemies are going to have a park dedicated to them in this county over his dead body. <laughs> well, when we met, I pulled Keith aside and I said, look, what don't you want? He said, we don't want blame, we don't want criticism. I says, no problem. The Japanese American community wants what's in the best interest of Inyo County as well. You need economic development, improved tourism. And he promptly said, let's get to work. <laughs> and I want you to know that we became fast partners. Keith worked to counter often racially hostile opponents to garner local support. No doubt in my mind, without his handling the other side of the aisle, you know what side, in Congress, <laughs> and with famous Mono Lake Martha Davis, where are you, Martha? Helping out with helping out with a few key Dems, we would have never passed the parks bill. Well, we have a park. You're 89, Keith, still alive and kicking. <laughs> For a um, community forum, knowing uh, that there was still strong local resistance, this was the vestige of uh, earlier California landmark designation struggle, I enlisted two Japanese American veterans to come along. And I look straight ahead, and I believe I see Hiro Takasugawa, Hiro and Shiro, wearing their American Legion uniforms and hats, accompanied me to the Independent City Hall. And in our pathway, we crossed a World War I vet. His name was Bernasconi, and he was wearing the same hat and uniform. He was sent to oppose the designation. When we got inside, he said he had no idea that Japanese Americans volunteered from behind barbed wires to serve on the same side, the American side. It was just really incredible to witness how in the face of truth, anger and opposition could dissipate.